11, the last passage. That's not me. Oh, should I do it? Sorry. The woman in the cell hasn't woken up yet. I should be able to get to the cell if I head up to the second level. We're very, like, our body language is very, like, don't want to be here, slightly scared. Why, why, why are our legs so long? Didn't we do a fight when we ended here as Miku, to be fair? And yes, we're back in the, like, raised prison room with the little shrine. Well, that person is still up there. Yes, we're not, uh, we're not... Ray, we're not, uh... Okay. Okay, we're... Miku once again. Why are these candles blue? Maybe they're the special candles. Also, it's weird that there's kind of a weird, tiny version of the building that's in the huge open courtyard. Yeah, it's cute because I'm like, as a in a sort of a game designer sense, does that just mean you just go this asset but shrink? You don't actually have two models. Yeah. And yes, it's still got the uh, fullied skin on either side. Lovely. Same text though. Yeah. But yes, now I suppose we're looking around with the aim to get up. Yes, if we look at our map, which we I think is in the tattoo altar, but on a taller level. And if I remember rightly, is it through the kimono lady's room? I think it might be. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and we know where that is. It's just off the the courtyardy bit. Sort of, yeah. The uh, atmospheric candles and stuff, though. Oh, yeah, the gently flicker. Oh, pull the camera out. They're probably in the little enclosure in the middle. We've seen a couple of ghosts here. Alani, you broke the commandment. How could you recommend the Kuzi Shrine? <gasps> it's open. It's never been open. Is there something across? I mean, there's an item. I thought there might be a figure. Yeah. Bedding is laid out behind reed screens. Inside the bedding is a bulge that looks about the size of a person. She's looking up, weirdly. Uh, like a traditional calligraphy set and then a scroll on the desk. An old book has been left on this old writing desk. Calico notebook. I don't know, does it look like a cat? <laughs> Is that not what that means? <laughs> it's the, like the print, I guess. So, one of the handmaids led a man who came to offer his pain into the Kuzu shrine. And so tattoos have entered the priestess's eyes and the, door to the doors to the Chamber of Thorns have opened. We should never have let a man enter the shrine. No matter who it was, we should never have engraved the priestess's empty eyes. Now that I have felt the pain of the holly as well, even I am not allowed outside. Before the rift that has spilled forth from the Kuzu Shrine spreads any further, we must find a way to shut the shrine within the rift. We must summon shrine carpenters and seal the Kuzu Shrine. Many sacrificial pillars will be required. We should have cast that man away, just as we, just as we did that male scholar who wandered here. That's how I always end my notes. Hmm. That's not how people write. Because she's talking about Kay, right? 
I don't know. I think these are old notes. Oh, okay. It's like they're talking about the guy who had the child with Amani, or the child that Amani had, because one of them they like spirited out of the building. It's hard to keep track of who's who. A little bit, yeah. And um, actually, I'm just going to skip that and go back because I think I can see that again. Something written on in the scroll on the desk. I can make out the word memorandum at the beginning. It looks like some kind of teaching someone passed on. Shrine of sleep. Later, the builder. Sacrificial pillar. I suppose it figures if they were sort of going, we have to sacrifice quite a few people. Maybe we should write down like what how, how things happen. Yeah, maybe they're like behind the curtain. Genuinely have no idea. It really wants you to get it. Like I'm starting a, to suspect it might just be upstairs. Upstairs. Um, we can go upstairs now, I suppose. Also, is that my health? You can see it in the menu menu, I think. Like, what's the red and blue? Oh, isn't it her special ability, the red? And you sort of charge okay. them up and use them. There's left and right every time here, so... Oh! <gasps> It'll be over... soon. Oh! It's the Impaling Girl. It's been a while since we've seen you. So was that blue just a... a trick? Maybe. Yeah, you say that. Why don't you come down here where I've got more room? am I using that? Oh, oh god, that went down far. It'll be over. Not just behind here. Just there. I don't know. To the right, I guess. Did you get it? Ooh. Oh, thank God. And yes. Nailed it. <laughs> we're still in the mode where it's sort of the ghosts will attack more, is it the idea? No, they attack less because we don't have the miasma. Oh, okay. But if that runs out, we will then have the miasma. Right, so what is attracting my attention? Ah. This thing. That's so we can finally find the item. An image of something has been caught on the photo. Where's that? Is that in the old part of the house where Kay's, um, like, sister or whatever it was was, if you know what I mean? Maybe. The library altar was updated. I don't know what that person said, admittedly. Uh, yes, I was going to say, we've got so much of the house available now. The library altar. On the second floor of the reed screen room was a library full of old books. There was one shelf with an altar on it. Something must once have been displayed there. Carved into the shelf were the words, Offer up the commandment tome, written in the ink of tattoo. Hmm. Because, so, yeah, I feel like either that's in that long, weird corridor with all the sliding doors, where there's been a door forever that we can't open. Mm -hmm. There, or... Yeah, like the, the old bit of the house that Kay got to. Am 
Well, in the words of Dr. Zoidberg. Is this it, in fact? Is it in front of you? So she was looking up. She keeps on looking up. Yes, just if you were thinking of here, I'm like, well, we're here. Nope. Tightly sealed. Is there any ghost in here, maybe? Or? I feel like there could be. Yeah. But then if you look enough, I'm fairly certain there's a ghost in every room. Yes, it is at least some interesting. No, we have to come back here at some point. So yeah, don't, I suppose, don't linger just, just for the sake of being attacked by a ghost. <laughs> Okay, let's head to the old part of the mansion. Actually, I'm not even sure it is older. It might be newer. You know what I mean, though? The place where it had like three hearths and... We saw a... Is it Mayo? Mio? In a little locked room. I oh, probably want to go the other way. Up there it was, on the top left of the map. That's the way you came out, isn't it? Mm hmm Okay. Sorry, what I was getting at is that it would be quicker. It might not let me go there. Oh, right. Oh, there's the also... the quickest way would be through here. An item behind the screen in the corner. There is. It's just a normal one, though. There's nothing uh, special about it. Something on the floor. Herbal medicine. No, we're never short of items, to be honest. Candle activated, yep. The egress. Also, I can't come through here. Yeah, we've unlocked most of the sort of the hidden ways through places. Yes, but a lot of the time it still doesn't let me come through here. At least I think this is the quickest way. Probably, it's direct. I won't go through the tiny little door, do I? Actually, you know, it's possibly quicker to just go through the... Through the main area. It might say, oh, it's locked for Miku. Well, since we're here... Item up there. Well, let's go get it since we're right next to it. More herbal medicine? Yeah, it feels weird lingering in this room, admittedly. Which is good, because it's tried to give this whole area a sense of foreboding. Yeah. And it has succeeded. I'm very uncomfortable here. It's too big and open, I think, doesn't help. It's wrong. It has an intrinsic wrongness. Okay. Yeah, we have to go the other weird way if we want to get up there. But the fact that we got a mini cutscene suggests we're on the right path. Oh, oh, I was hoping someone was going to drop the base. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking it might be the room up the stairs. Um. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Well, that's... yeah. Yeah, yeah, go up the stairs, right in front of you. Just thinking the big evil lady might be here, so you maybe you don't want to linger. There's this door here. This was that weird room. 
Um, I think one of those trees just fell. Who's this guy? Was he always there? You okay? I don't think he's okay. Nothing? I thought I would say something. Yeah, can you look in the room, like, at the fall, the tree that we keep not seeing in shot? That one. I swear it looked like it fell over when we came in the room. We don't seem to say anything. Thing is, is that I didn't recognise the room it showed me, which is a little worrying. Because that means I don't know where I'm going. But we have a clue. Because someone's singing, so I suspect it's probably the same location. We just need to head upstairs. I take it we get no books to read on all of these shelves. Just in case. Nothing written on their spines. But the pages inside are full of names. It's like some kind of register. Weird. Register. I mean, I don't want to spend too much time examining everything. Cause... It's fair. It's just in case there was law. I have glanced through the dust-covered books. A lot of the ones here seem to contain illustrations of the human body. Maybe they are old medical texts. Yeah, I'm just going to go upstairs. Yeah. I mean, there's a screen. Something is left behind where the handmaiden was. Commandment tome. The chosen maiden is put onto the boat of passing. The boat sways as it is sent to the Kuze shrine. The living flesh is cut, the tattoos etched in. Pain of the holly shall be sealed within her. All her love shall be interred into a mirror. This she must break shatter herself. Her attachments to this world must be broken. The piercing of the soul thus concludes. Impale her with the stake of tattoos. The rite of commandment must be conducted, sleeping undisturbed for eternity, dreaming the endless dream of the rift, enclosed, entombed in her chamber of thorns. She shall continue to feel the pain of the holly, for all time. Jeez. Apart from the poem on the first page, the book is full of what look like names written in a dark red ink. Commandment tome added to file. Oh, thank goodness there is something on the cloth spread out on the floor. It looks like a candle. It's secretly a cake, though. I'm not sure that animation was really necessary. No. Sacred objects and trinkets look like they're used in a ceremony. Rolled up piece of straw matting on the floor looks about the size of a purse. So the same sort of thing. Yeah. I suppose we can go back to the library then. Does that mean that's the thing that would where we were taking the photo, that object will have appeared? Yeah, it's just I'm curious because we can... Okay. Can I... On the far side I can see the roof of what looks like a shrine. It's way too far to jump! <laughs> if I fell from this height I'd have no chance. Look how far it is! No one could jump that, right? No, I didn't think Kay did. I thought he went like around and you do a sort of a loop. Oh, maybe not. No, he jumped from it's here lower, to there. It's I suppose, but it's, yeah. And she's gone. No, she's behind you. Do you need to fight? Do you want to just go? Will it let you go? So no, Miku cannot in fact jump into the sort of the, the main building. Because I was thinking I could come out of there 
just wave for us? <laughs> just a very cute animation. That's how I always wait, make sure to walk downstairs. Can I get down from here? No. no. You have to go back around again. Camera. Okay, he is still there. I was like, is he going to have gone or moved? Because normally I would stop to fight the ghosts, but I think since we have a candle. Oh God, it's the, the big evil tentacly guy, I think, yeah. I think we came from the across door, but you can go this way. Oh, actually that might be the wrong way. Yeah, because we went through the courtyard, I believe, and then through the building and then down, yeah. Wait, where's the library? It's all the way back where, like, um, it's that room there. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, you So I can't get there this way. You could do. Go whichever way you want to be there. Just if I go back, I'm worried I'll get. Uh, it doesn't really lead to the same place. Hmm. Run, 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 run in that way. I'm going down. Especially since we're burning through these candles, admittedly. Burning through the candles? Hmm. Is that an item in that corner? It's shimmering on the way in as well. It is. It's like you can barely see it. Something on the ground. Sacred water. This is another location where I can hear, um water. There is a like a pond to be fair but yeah. I'm not sure it would make that noise but yes there's a body of water over in the corner that way. Yeah, I can hear my ghost detector go occasionally, so I'm assuming I'm being sort of chased. Probably. I think it's all, all ghosts all the time at the minute. And this just looks to now be permanently open. It's odd when the location opens. It's like when we finally go through the gates at the other side of the courtyard. It's going to be a bit strange. Mm. You set the commandment tome on the altar's book stand. There was a sound like that of some sort of mechanism moving from the level above. Okay. Does that mean we should go to the level above? I guess. Up, up the ladder. I can also hear a ting, ting, ting. Maybe it just opened the door, I guess, finally. It's totally a ghost. Oh. Oh, that's the... Yeah. That's the serious one. The door has been unlocked and should now open.
not even going to try and fight you. Mm. Oh, Miku, don't get in the cage. Yeah, we've been up here as a ray in the um, black and white past, I suppose. Get in the cage. <laughs> Something is reflecting light on the floor of the cell where the woman was. Something has been sewn into a part of the kimono. Mirror of loss. The back of this old mirror has been engraved with a snake design that looks just like the tattoo. There is an old book on top of the clothes spread out on the bottom of the cell. Tattooed diary one. My father, my mother, my brother. Everyone has gone to the other side. I have been left all by myself. Just like that time when I couldn't go with Kaname. An escort came from the Kuze Shrine. Those who know the pain of the loss of loved ones become priestesses, and by surrendering their flesh can save many people who know the same pain. But once you've become a priestess and have the pain of the holly engraved into you, you can't leave the shrine. The entire village is gone. Father, mother, my brother, everyone. I am the sole survivor. There is nothing left for me. If it's decided that I can never see them again, then that means that I can sleep for all of eternity. I can save others with the same pain. We added that to our file. We got a note, we got a ghost. I think that was a... We got a combination note ghost. He's inside the shrine, did he, did she say? He seemed talking about Wufuyu at this point. I think she said deep inside the shrine, Deep inside yes. the yeah. shrine. We take yes. that button. Oh, right, go on. Or should I read this one? You can read this entry, which is a man named Kaname. Ah. Oh. A diary was left in the prison where the shrine maiden was kept. In it were recorded her thoughts and feelings. The name Kaname was written there. The brother's name in the diary of the girl dressed as a shrine maiden was name was Kaname too. Did he come to see her? Did he go inside the shrine? And yes, it's interesting that it's the same sort of um Oh, is it going to cutscene? There's certainly a ghost, like story thread of the, the, all the people it, that our characters are, the characters with loss are like drawn into the manor. And it's mm. like, is it because the priestess is wanting to take our pain to save us? Are they wanting to make more priestesses? Because it sounds like we sort of fit the bill if we've lost everyone. Yeah. I think, do you just go through the double doors? I think or can we you just not? go through the double doors. And yes, the, the, the problem when the tattoos hit the eyes and become a mirror of pain. And we've looped back round to the kimono lady's room. Amani. Amani. Why? Why? Nicely done. I mean, there's another fight in here, maybe. Oh. Yeah, we've still never gotten that key. So we've got the mirror. Does that go on the shrine in the big main room? Like, what do we do with it? Well... That it? it tells you what happens. 
No, there was a document we got, which sort of said... Mirror of Lust, maybe? Shall be placed in the Shrine of Loss. Right. So yes, I think you're right. Okay. I'm thinking, what's the quickest way to just essentially get back to where we were? It's the big open room. I don't know, I kind of wasn't expecting to end up here, weirdly enough. Because we could possibly just go back the way we came. I don't know if that would genuinely be quicker. Sort of through to the prison right. and back through. through. That's up to the upper rafters of that big corridor. Oh, I don't need to go there. Yeah. Do you know? And I suppose keep an eye out for any candles we come across. There we go. We will pick it up. Next time. Next time. Next time.